Okay, welcome back. So let's continue to Coda. And there's one other thing I want to show you. When, uh, as you might know, you are allowed to use plenty of plugins to extend WordPress. It's one of the big selling features. Or not selling features, but a big feature. Now, one thing you should do is we're going to add something. WP underscore head. And this is because certain plugins uh, append things to the head. So by adding this here, plugins are allowed to add extra scripts or CSS files. Okay, so that's something we want to do. And we should also do that in our footer, but we don't even have a footer. So if we want, we could just add it right here. Div ID equals footer. And footer. Within here, we could type PHP WP footer. And that way, they can append things to the footer as well. Turn this up a little more. All right, so moving right along. So let's get started. So remember, we want the um, we want to link our logo back to the home page. So one way we could do it is just have that link to www.jeff-way.com slash PSD. But what if you move servers? Then you'd have to replace that everywhere. We need to keep this as simple to update as possible. So let's close that out. Come on back. And we're going to change this. And we're going to use a new one. This is going to be PHP blog info URL. Notice all these this blog info function. We can pass in URL, style sheet URL. Um, RSS2, uh, lots of them. You don't need to remember all of them, but just kind of be paying attention. And this is obviously going to return the URL of our site. Refresh the page. Now, if I hover over it now, if you look at the bottom left portion of the screen, it's linking back to the root of the WordPress installation. So I mentioned that we are going to be changing some things. That's always going to happen when you convert HTML. I decided after a while that I don't want to store search and RSS within list items. It was giving me some problems across browsers, and I decided, you know what, it might be better to store those in uh, a separate div. So that's what I did. So we're going to close out this unordered list, and we'll create a new one, div ID equals search. And we're going to use our image, so img source alt ID equals search icon. All right. And it's still going to be search for something. This is that little search icon that we're adding. And then the source is going to be, this is going to be the same. Yeah, you know what? Let's do. Search icon.png. All right, and you know, I probably could have just taken that whole thing, cut that out, cut that list item out, cut that closing unordered list because we already closed it right here. So we have our IMG. What next? We need to um, we need to include a search form. Now I'm not going to get to that just yet. So we'll, for the time being, let's just copy that and bring it into our div. All right. Unfortunately, let's change alt to, um, I hate having it overlap, so search, that's a little bit better. And then finally, RSS, we need to add that as well. So before the closing of our search, we'll place that in as well. And we're going to do href, and we're going to use the image. So I can go in here and just grab that image, like so. But remember, we need to get the template path. All right. And then what else? Let's make sure that this links directly to our RSS feed. So we'll do that. And we can remember, we did it right up here, blog info. So we'll do PHP um, blog info RSS2 underscore URL. And that will return the correct value. Okay, I think that's right. Let's come back. It's going to screw up the formatting slightly. Syntax error unexpected on line 29. Let's find line 29. Oh, that's right. Extra PHP. Press the page. 
page. And now it's it's messed up our formatting just a little bit, but don't worry, we'll fix that. We'll definitely fix that. Let's continue on. Um, what else should we do? A slogan rather here. Why don't we change this because we want it to grab whatever is stored within the tagline right here. Once again, we could just hard code it, but then if we change it, we'd have to change it in multiple places. So we can do PHP blog info description. All right. So the first thing when you make a dynamic site, or not the first, but something you should think about is let's turn these static pages into dynamic ones. We want WordPress to listen for how many pages we have and, um, and add those. But we know for this site, it's very simple. We know, at least for this top navigation section, all I want is home, about, and contact. But we still want to use WordPress to get that. So what is the best method? Well, within this unordered list, let's add our home. And I'll explain that in shortly. We need to leave that first list item there. But next, we're going to do PHP WP underscore list underscore pages. So if I uh, get rid of those, and actually, let's um, copy this first one out. If we come back and refresh our page, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, another one, 25. Close that out, refresh the page. We have pages. Well, first, we don't want that title. And then we have about, and those are the only pages we have. So next, let's add a new page. And we'll just call it contact. Blah. Publish. We've successfully added a new page. And because we're using that WordPress function, now it's going to show up about contact. But we don't want this little heading to come up. So we can remove that. Oh, by the way, come back. Notice how it did not include the home page because uh, when you access a site, what you're seeing isn't necessarily the home page. It just is showing the, the latest uh, postings. So why don't we manually add the home page like so? Okay, now to remove that nasty little title, we can add some parameters. And the way WordPress does is you, you connect each of your parameters using and. So we could do title underscore li equals and I would do nothing. Come back, press the page. Now it's gone. And now these pages were dynamically added. But if we have more pages, all of those pages are gonna be added here and that's gonna screw up our layout. So we wanna specify exactly what pages we want to add. So we come back here, we can do that by going to uh, edit pages. And if I hover over one, you'll see at the very bottom of the screen on, on the status bar, uh, we have post equals nine and post equals two. So those are the triggers that we can use to access only those two specific pages, two and nine. So if I want to connect these, I can do title underscore li equals nothing and include equals two comma nine. Now, don't worry if you can't remember these, you'll, it'll it get to the point where it's kind of secondhand, but you can always uh, research WordPress, which has some amazing documentation. So if you uh, Googled, you know, WordPress codex include pages, it would do that for you. Let's refresh the page. And now nothing has changed, but trust me, if you add more pages, those will not be included. So that's a nice feature. And now we're adding more, um, it's becoming more and more dynamic. That should be good for this video. We've taken care of the header. In the next video, we're going to look into the WordPress loop.